Welcome back. Look who's here. <laughs> Go ahead. No, it's beautiful. It's very springy. I said this is the last day you're going to see this really what. No. I liked it when I bought it, but a yellow blazer, I don't know. It might look, be a look lot. At your, look at yourself right there. It looks fantastic on television. It looks great on television. <laughs> It's very. You know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? Because we have a lot of birthday uh, people in the audience. I'm gonna give that to my buddy Linda up in the front row. We're gonna give that to her up okay. there too. Yeah, yeah. I just gave Linda my car a few minutes ago. Well, if uh, if you walked into your favorite uh, establishment on a Friday night, you may have noticed something in the air. It's fish fry season. That's right. Here with everything you ever ever wanted to know about fish fries and yellow blazers is Stephanie Hansen. Everybody. That's right. I've missed you. I know. I've been I haven't traveling. seen you forever. I know. I it's, stop traveling. I miss you. I I'm home now for a while. Okay, good, because I can't live without you. Okay. Uh, first up, uh, let me. Can I ask a thirty-seven thousand feet question? Yeah. Why are they a thing? Fish fry? Yeah. Oh, it started with uh, the Catholic Church and Lent. So people are not supposed to eat meat if they're Catholic. And it starts like the day before Fat Tuesday, I think. I'm not Catholic, so I'm probably not getting this right. But so on Friday nights, they have fish fry and you don't eat meat on those days. So people started coming up with fish fries. Churches did it as a way to like build community. Yeah. And a church fish fry is amazing. Like just the food is fine. You know, it's kind of church lady food, but it's really fun to go to a big group to sit down. Holy Maronite Church is one of my favorites. They are Lebanese and they do Lebanese food too and the garlic sauce and the cabbage rolls. It's just, it's super good. The VFW in Richfield yesterday gave, gave me, they have a fish fry, really good. Yeah, and a really lot good. of the VFWs do it. And again, I think people maybe started doing it like as a community thing yeah. after, ch after the church people. Then everyone was like, well, we want a fish fry too. It's fun to get together. So you have a you have a list of faves as you do. So number one, Brunson's Pub. Talk to us about Brunson. I love Brunson's Pub. Molly and Tom are personal friends, and they took it over. It's on Payne Avenue, in the middle of an area of St. Paul that needed a little zhuzhing up. So they picked up this what I would call a dive bar, and it's still fun and kind of divey, but they serve really excellent food. Their chicken wings are, they use chicken thighs instead of wings, which is really great. Mm. No, it's good, it's okay. very unique, it's good, and you get a lot of meat for the money, but also they've got a fish fry, because if you're in St. Paul, there's a lot of Catholics in St. Paul, so you kind of need to have fish fry on your menu. Yeah. There's a super good. Tavern on Grand. This is like the OG. Yeah. You know, Tavern on Grand on Grand Avenue in St. Paul is known for fish. Their walleye is super good. They've got a dinner where you can get it blackened or deep fried. It comes with either plain tartar sauce or the extra delicious jalapeno tartar sauce. The last time I ate there, actually, I ate there with your boss, Mim. Yeah, oh. she was at wow, the Wow, we've never been Grand. taken out to dinner by Mim. <laughs> no, we didn't go to dinner. I was there eating, and she was there with her lovely husband, Pat. I'm sure that's the story you two concocted. Yes. Okay, anyway, <laughs> number three is Bull's Horn. Okay, Bull's Horn is home of the dill pickle fried chicken. If you haven't had that yet, what? you should. Oh, yeah, they marinate their chicken there in dill pickle juice, and it's oh, so great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really great. So this is kind of, again, dive bar -y. They've got the fried chicken, um, but you also, they're doing fried fish for Lent with fries. Comes in a little basket. It's very delicious. I like, oh, I'm going there for that. You gotta, we should, take me to the. Oh, yeah. We need you to get go the for bucket the chicken. of chicken, and you get eight pieces. Their fish fries, thirteen fifty, so it's very reasonably priced, too. Because one thing I did notice from last year, Roundup that we did to this year is the fish fries are about a dollar more. Okay, next uh, Lucky's uh, Lucky Thirteens. I just, I mean, Lucky's is great. Yeah. they're they're in Burnsville, Bloomington, Mondota, Plymouth, Roseville, all the suburbs, but they have the fish fry sandwich that is sort of like the McDonald's filet of fish that you want it to be, but it's not. This is like that, like a beautiful slice of American cheese, a big like fried crispy patty that's thick. It's not thin, it's thick. And then like the crispy iceberg lettuce, the bun is delicious. So. And they're good people. Yeah, they're, that we, we, super great. Yeah, they're full disclosure, Stephanie, I know the, they're great. They're great guys over that there. That one's only $14.99 too for the sandwich with fries and coleslaw. Obes. Obs. 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 
OBS is like the place where you would go there if it was closer to your house, for sure, because it's in St. Paul. What do you say? What does that say it's about like, me? It's like, again, dive bar. Oh, yeah, I have be a there. thing for dive bars, yeah, I apparently. Do. It's family owned. It's a sports bar. They've got the hot turkey sandwich. They've got the meatloaf sandwich. And they're doing fish fry for $17.95 on Friday nights at 4 o'clock. It's all you can eat. You also get super salad. There's baked potato or fries or coleslaw. And you can also get all gratin potatoes there. Yeah. I kind of like an all gratin potato I do too. with yeah. my fish fry. I like potato pancakes too, but they don't have those very much in the Twin Cities. Potato pan. Look at you just throwing the potato pancakes out. No, oh, I love a potato pancake. They, and in Wisconsin, when you get fish fry, they always come with potato pancakes. They don't do that here. Really? Yeah, they just do fries here. Mm -hmm. And do you know, I, I mentioned this yesterday and I got a couple emails about it. You know, walleye here is when you mention fish fry. In Indiana, talking about regional, it's perch. Yeah, and perch. It's Lake Perch in Indiana. Urban Growler in St. Paul does have perch here, but perch is harder to get. A lot of people do walleye. Traditional churches usually do cod. Cod or ha haddock? Yeah. Haddock. Haddock um, is a little more expensive, so that's pretty rare. Uh, we have three more. Let's do this. Let's take a break. We have three more uh, on Stephanie's list. And, or you just want me to do finish them? Okay, no. Let's take a break. We'll finish the list and do a Q&A when we come back. Back in a moment. Here we go. Welcome back. We're back with Stephanie Hansen uh, talking about fish fries. We have a few more on the list, and then we're going to uh, have the audience ask questions. Okay, so Steph, let's go to Randy's Pizzeria. Okay, I love Randy's because they have the four foot by four foot pizza, but they also specialize in gluten free things, and they've got a gluten free, free fish fry. Easy to say, gluten free fish fry, gluten free fish fry. So if you are interested in gluten free fish fry, you can get it at Randy's in Oakdale. Max Fish and Chips. Okay, this is awesome. It's super quick service. It comes in a paper bag, and you can see like the little greasy spots on the paper bag because it's so fresh and delicious. You also, you get your either cod or your haddock or your walleye. You get a great side of fries, and then they have this little saltwater taffy when you walk out the door. It's just super hot and crispy, and I don't even get that home. I just eat that in my car out of the bag. <laughs> You know. Stephanie like has grease does. marks on her seat. Yep, wiping yeah. my face. Uh, and finally, before we get to the questions, the Urban Growler. Oh, Urban Growler we talked about. We did. It has the oh. perch. So oh, I it. think that is the most like, authentic to me kind of Wisconsin experience. Urban Growler, women owned, they brew their own beer and they have perch and it's delicious and you should go. So it's time again to ask Stephanie. We figure she's a foodie expert. Uh, why not let the audience borrow her for a few minutes? So this is the Ask Stephanie. Where's Kim? Kim, let me. I'll come over to you. Say hi to Kim, Kim is everybody. Following me. Kim, your question for Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. I'm here with my best friend of 30 years to see Jason for the first time, and we wanted to know where we should go for lunch after the show. Okay, I am gonna say. Do you like fish? Yes. Okay, I would go to Kona Grill. Oh, yes. They have an excellent, like, sushi, sushi rolls. They have this lemongrass clam chowder that is, like, I still think about it. It's got coconut milk. It's super delicious. It feels like you're in, like, they've got tuna poke. It feels like you're in a Hawaiian place, but you're in Minnesota, and they have <laughs> delicious fish. It is. They do a really good job. Thank, Thank you, sweetie. You. Where's Jana? 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 Where's Jana? Is that you? You? Okay. I thought you had to. Okay, go ahead and stand up for me, my love. It's the birthday show. You have girl. to stand up. It's your, it's your birthday. Show off. Yes. Okay, what's your question for Stephanie? Well, that almost would be my question, too, where to go. But we were planning on going to Lindy's Steakhouse. Oh, no, you should go. Oh, really? I got one of them coupons. Lindy's Steakhouse. Did you just ask me for coupons? No, I have. Oh, I was like. <laughs> I was like, I'll just I'll buy the meal for you. You know, I'll, I'll go to Disney. You'll go to yeah. yeah I'll take you to. I'll gotta call it. somebody to take I'll, care of the animals. Okay, There's Jana wants to go to Disney. There's not a complicated menu at Lindy's. All they really have, and it's delicious, and you should go, is steak. And it comes with garlic toast, and it comes with these watermelon rind pickles and hash browns. It's a family-owned place. It's uncomplicated, but it is delicious, and it's a heritage St. Paul spot. Where, you got to go. Lindy's. Where, it's where Arden it? Hills. Gar Arden Hills? Arden Hills. Arden Hills. Thank mm -hmm. you, sweetie. Happy birthday. One more. You Kathleen. Go. Yeah, Kathleen, you your question go. for Steph. You can stay right there. Oh, yes. Um, I want to know, when are you going to start to travel again? 
Snuck well, I got back from Mexico last night at 8.30. Oh, okay. But I will, my, my next trip is going to be Palm Springs at the end of March. And then I'm going to Spain in October, bringing some people for a taste of Spain travel adventure. There are tickets available for that. And then this weekend, I'm traveling to the Home and Garden Show. I'm going to be yeah. on stage. I follow up. Okay, Peter Brady's on at noon, and I'm on at 1 o'clock on Saturday, and then Sunday at 1 o'clock, too. There we go. Thank you so much. You can follow Stephanie on social media and also her website. Just go to stephaniesdish.com, and again, she will be at the Home and Garden Show. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Back in a moment. <laughs> 